So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and uh, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, functions uh, with parameters uh, to add child or uh, remove child uh, from the library to the stage. And I have already created some tutorials about this uh, adding elements from the library and I'm going to provide a link in the description so you can go and watch that one. Uh, but in this tutorial I would like to just show you uh, how to use a function uh, so you do not need to write the, all of the code. So I am in the Adobe Animate and uh, I can go with any width and height and uh, I will choose HTML5 canvas and I will hit uh, create. So uh, basically I am going to get a rectangle tool with some color and I'm going to draw something like this and uh, I will get the text tool and I will get the white color and I'm going to type something like uh, page one. Uh, now I am going to align this so I will select it, I will go to the align tool, make sure that it's aligned to stage and I'm going to align it like so and I'm going to uh, right now uh, select it like so, hit F8 or you can go modify convert to symbol and uh, I'm going to call this to be page one and OK. And right now I will go to the library and uh, in here there is this linkage name. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to call this to be page one. And this name has nothing to do with JavaScript and this name is uh, that we are going to be using. So they do not need to be the same. They can be the same. Uh, this depends on you. And now uh, I am going to I'm going to delete this like so. And I am going to uh, add this with the code. So right now, if I would hit Control Enter, uh, I am going to have a blank space and nothing in there. So uh, what I can do is uh, I can uh, right click, I can choose uh, Actions, and I can go ahead and type a uh, code, which is going to be uh, this add a child uh, parenthesis, and in this parenthesis, I am going to type uh, new, uh, then space lib as a library dot and the name that I have created, which is page one and uh, parentheses like so. So basically, if I'm going to write this type of code, so this, uh, this add child new library page one, uh, this is going to very simply add me uh, this uh, page one to the stage like so. And uh, as I showed you in uh, other tutorials and uh, in the one that I uh, am going to leave a link in the description, we can put this to the variable so I can call a variable, uh, create a variable let page one, or you can call this to be uh, my page one if you want to have the different names. So let my page one is going to be equal and it is going to be equal to this. So I'm going to First of all, I'm going to copy this Control C and Control V, uh, so you can see that the, and the semicolons are optional, so you can see that the, this new lib page one is the same as in here. And what I can do is I can get rid of this and I can put my page one in here like uh, like so. And right now, if I'm going to hit Control Enter, uh, we are going to we are going to have the same thing. Uh, now let me let me close this. Uh, let me click anywhere. Go to the properties and change the color of the stage uh, to something which is not white. So basically, if I'm going to hit Control Enter, I'm going to see where is the border of my canvas. Uh, now I am going to create some kind of uh, button. Uh, so I am going to get the rectangle tool, and uh, I can be on this uh, layer one where I have the code because I am going to uh, delete it later on. Uh, let I am going to delete it anyway later on. But I am going to get the uh, maybe orange color, and I am going to uh, create a button. So I'm going to create a shape, I will go to the text tool and I'm going to get white color and I'm going to call this to be uh, or write the text cha change uh, page like uh, like so. And yeah, I'm going to position it like so. Maybe I can make this a little bit smaller. It, it depends on you. So something like this. And I'm going to hit F8 and I'm going to call this to be my button, for example, and I'm going to click OK and I will go to the library and uh, right now I'm going to put the linkage name and uh, I'm going to double click and I'm going to call this, for example, to be button uh, change. OK, so I, I could call it my button, it, uh, uh, but I'm going to put a different name. So I'm going to have button button change. And now I am going to delete it in here and I will go uh, in here like so and I'm going to 
I'm going to uh, right now duplicate this uh, line of code. So I'm going to hit Ctrl D and I'm going to call this to be my button. So let my button is equal to new library, uh, but instead of the page one, I'm going to paste a uh, button change. Okay, and right now I can uh, go ahead and duplicate this line of code, this at child, my page one. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to put in here uh, this uh, my button like uh, like so control v and i'm going to hit control enter and right now we can see that we have this page one uh, and we have this uh, change button now uh, i will i will click f9 and we are going to create some kind of function so i'm going to create the function uh, which i am going to uh, call add the element but or add elements uh, and i'm going to create a parenthesis curvy parenthesis and uh, in here uh, I'm going to put some kind of parameter so I can call it either only E or I can call it uh, element uh, this uh, depends on you and in this function what I'm going to uh, write is I'm going to uh, write uh, this uh, add the child uh, parenthesis and I'm going to put in here element Okay, uh, now uh, we are going to have a little issue uh, because uh, when we are uh, inside of the functions like so, we cannot use uh, this uh, unless we have some even listener and we use uh, bind method to, to add this, uh, but we cannot have something like this inside. So I will have to create a variable, uh, let uh, root is equal to this, uh, but you can choose whatever name you want. Uh, but what is going to happen is uh, when we are going to be inside of the function, uh, we are going to be using uh, the variable that we have created. So let the root is equal to this. You can have this as you want, but when, when you are inside of the function, you have to use this one. You cannot write this like so because it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be working. But we are going to have something like this. And uh, right now, if I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter, uh, we are going to have it like so. But... I will go back and I will click F9 to go back to my code and I'm going to comment out uh, these lines of code. So I'm going to comment out this at child my page one and this at child my button. So basically we have only three variables. One is this one and one is uh, let my page one is new library page one and let my button is new library button change. And if I'm going to hit control enter, nothing is going to happen because we will have to, uh, we only declare this variable and we will have to use this at child uh, to, to put it in here. And now we have this function, function at elements, and we have a parameter element, and we have root at child element. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and call this function. So I'm going to type add elements. This, this is the, this is this name. Maybe I am going to to make sure uh, that I have this correctly. So I'm going to copy it and paste it. And if you want to call a function, you have to write the name of the function and then the parentheses like so. And uh, in here, I am going to type uh, type uh, what element I want to use. So I would like to go with uh, my page one. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this like so. And basically uh, this means uh, when I'm going to call a uh, function add elements and I'm going to put this parameter that uh, it is going to replace this parameter in here. And I have root add child. And instead of the element, we are going to have this as uh, my page one. And if I'm going to put this as uh, my button, we are going to have the same function but with the button. Uh, I hope that this makes sense, but I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter and right now we have uh, put it in here, uh, this my page one. And now uh, I can go ahead and I can uh, duplicate this and I can uh, have add elements and right now I could uh, go ahead and head, have this as my button. Uh, and uh, control enter and right now it is going to also uh, put in here uh, this uh, my button and now I will hit F9 and uh, we can go ahead and uh, have a function which is going to remove elements so I'm going to copy this control C and I'm going to paste it in here control V uh, and right now I'm going to change this from function add element uh, to function uh, remove elements and uh, in here I'm going to change this from uh, root add child to root remove child. And right now what I could do is very simply uh, call this function, remove elements, so control C, 
and I'm going to put it in here, control V. So we are going to call remove elements function. Uh, we are going to put the parentheses and right now to the parentheses, I can uh, put what I want to remove. So uh, I can go ahead and remove uh, my page one. So I'm going to hit control C and I'm going to paste it in here, control V. So right now, if I'm going to hit control enter, uh, it is going to at the beginning add the page, but uh, later on, I'm going to removing it uh, like so. And uh, I could do the same thing with the, with the button. So I can uh, go ahead and duplicate this. And right now I'm going to remove elements and I'm going to go with uh, uh, my button. So I can just type this to be my button like so, control enter. And we are going to we are going to remove it like uh, like so. And uh, in here I have only I have only uh, one uh, one element. But uh, you you could have a function uh, where you are going to have a root at child uh, element, and uh, you can have I'm going to duplicate this root uh, maybe uh, remove. Uh, child and element number two, and you could have uh, two parameters, element uh, number two, and uh, like so. So, and, and then you would call the function uh, with uh, like my page one and maybe my uh, page two. But we don't have my page two, uh, and it would be like so. Uh, but yeah, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is it. I'm going to get rid of uh, this additional stuff that I have created. Uh, like uh, like so. So I'm going to delete it. And uh, very simply, I wanted to show you uh, that there is this possibility. And you can see that uh, uh, if I'm going to write this at child my page one, it's not as long as uh, or it's not uh, much longer than uh, doing it uh, this way. Uh, but yeah, this is a very very practical way uh, to having a parameter in the functions and then uh, replacing it uh, with something when you are calling the function. Uh, so this is it. Uh, this was just a short tutorial about something like this. I'm going to provide the link in the description, uh, as I said, for the for the more info about this at child. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, and uh, position this uh, and uh, and so on. Because at the, as, as we have so, uh, it is going to put an elements to this corner uh, in here, and uh, there is a way how you can position it, change it, add even listeners to it, and so on. But uh, this is it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I will see you in some other tutorials. Thank you.